Hey everyone, how are you doing? Um, I wanted to make this video just to um, kind of clarify a few things for the annotated bibliography and the final argumentative paper. Some of you have been emailing me, asking me questions, um, slightly confused, and so let me try to clear up a few things as best as I can. Uh, so the annotated bibliography is due July 19th for all of my classes, whether it's Santa Monica or Glendale, whatever. Um, so July 19th by 11.59 p.m., the annotated bibliography is due. What is an annotated bibliography? I posted up the directions on Canvas and kind of the uh, layout, the guidelines. I even put up an example, um, you know, annotated bib uh, that you should try to follow uh, within the guidelines. So definitely look at that if you have not already. But essentially what an annotated bibliography is, is the first step towards writing your final paper. So the annotated bibliography is an opportunity for you to think ahead of time on your thesis and what sources you are going to use for your final paper. Um, so the annotated bibliography just needs the typical like MLA header, you know, on the upper left hand corner with your name, the class name, the date, etc. Um, your uh, working thesis, right? Um, typically, the thesis has your arguments, right, whatever point you are trying to make. Um, and let's say three or more subtopics. So for example, and I put this in the guidelines a little more neatly, but just to kind of spitball from the top of my head. Uh, let's say your thesis is going to be about the, uh, the Cold War. Um, so your thesis could be something along the lines of the Cold War was one of the most consequential wars in human history. That's the statement you're making, the what you're trying to argue, right? It's one of the most consequential wars in human history. Um, due to, and then you have your X, Y, and Z reasons, right? Um, and so, you know, those subtopics and sub reasons are going to follow into your body paragraph. So it's going to be nice and neat. Um, and so after that thesis statement that you put up top, um, below the um, below that are going to be your four sources, at least two primary, at least two secondary. Um, and so you could have more if you want. I've had, you know, students that do a little more research, want to back up their arguments a little more. So you could have five, six, seven, whatever you want to. But at the very, very minimum, I'm just advocating for two each. Um, and so you could have your uh, four sources listed there um, as a full citation. Um, if you do not know how to properly cite an MLA format, um, there are plenty of online uh, tools and resources um, and a lot of like great websites like BibMe, right? You can go in there, um, copy and paste the URL of whatever article um, or book or whatever it is that you're working with and it'll spit out a beautiful MLA format citation for you. So you can have the citation there and then below there is going to be a short paragraph description of your citation. And so this is to help you and for me to be on the same page of like what your sources are about. Um, and so I don't need some long half paragraph, uh, half page paragraph, right? Just like a monster explanation. It could be just a, you know, a few sentences, but just so you and I are both on the same page of like, what is the source? Why is it useful for you and your argument and how you plan to, you know, use it in your paper, you know, just to outline, right? And spitball, um, whatever your paper is going to be about. Um, and then that's pretty much it for the annotated bib. Uh, it's supposed to be, you know, it's not meant to be this crazy, um, difficult assignment It's meant to help you for your paper. Uh, now, after that, right after July 19th, and the annotated bibliography is due, um, the split between my SMC and GCC classes um, is going to be slightly different just because of the different weeks and formats that the schools are doing. Um, but for my um, for my SMC classes, um, the final paper is due July 26th for my Glendale classes it's going to be due August 2nd. Um, so some folks have been emailing me and asking me, well, what is the difference between the annotated bibliography, the final paper, or is the final paper due uh, on July 19th, right within a few days? Um, and you know, what am I supposed to do? The annotated bibliography is not the final paper, it is just the sources and your thesis, right, just to kind of get a head start use that in order to build upon your paper. And so those sources that you were researching um, should go into your paper, right? Essentially, this assignment is all geared towards the same paper. If you, you know, decide that you want to add a couple more sources or change some things up, right from the time of the annotated bibliography to the paper, that's completely fine. Um, I'm working really hard to get all the grading up and running and done this week. Um, I'm already almost halfway done with everything. Um, and so I'm working hard on that so that by the time you guys um, submit your annotated bibs, within a few days, um, I can get all of the feedback, you know, um, kind of 
you know, given back to you pretty quickly. Um, and so I can help you with your thesis, with your sources, let you know what I like, what I don't like, etc. Um, but yeah, whatever you're doing for the annotated bibliography, put that into your final paper, right? They're, they're not supposed to be two completely different works. Um, I've had students email me and say, oh, you know, my annotated bibliography is about the Cold War. Um, but my final paper, should I have a completely different topic, you know, on X, Y, and Z? I'm like, J you don't have to, right? Um, so it's supposed to just build upon that. Um, so hopefully that kind of answers some of your questions. Um, there are the gu guidelines um, that I'm looking at right now, but the guidelines are, um, you know, listed and posted. Um, in the Canvas uh, modules, uh, you know, specifically in the uh, modules for the annotated bibliography and the final um, argumentative paper module that I just posted up. So read through the guidelines in there. Um, they're, I believe, in uh, Microsoft Word doc format, uh, but it has all the directions in there, uh, has examples and discussions. Um, on top of that, if you have any questions, um, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 1230 to 1 30 we're having our zoom sessions um, just for like a you know impromptu office hours um, so feel free to stop by and ask me questions on that um, feel free to message me as a few of you have been messaging me um, and so hopefully I've been doing an okay job kind of messaging you back and um, giving you some you know good feedback um, so lower your anxieties um, but yeah it's not supposed to be a soul crushing assignment it's supposed to help with your papers um, so don't don't worry about it too much. Do your best. Um, you know, just have all of the required elements there, um, and you should do great. Um, but if there's any questions, please uh, feel free to email me um, or come uh, for our Zoom sessions. They're pretty fun. All right, I'll talk to you later, guys. Thanks for listening.